Hey guys! So I am back <laughs> to making videos on this channel. Um, if you want to know why I was kind of like away and I didn't tape anything, I will make a post on Tumblr and you can check it out there <clears throat> rather than kind of explaining everything in this video. So this weekend I caught a movie on TV that I hadn't seen in a while and the movie is based on a book series that I used to read and love as a teenager and watching it and looking at pictures it just made me really emotional because I started thinking about the books and you know actually goes on in them and I had a couple moments where I was like crying um, so it just made me remember um, how much I really love the book and like how much of an impact the book the book had on like on me as a person in my life so this week's video is about books that impacted me as a teen I guess you could say it's different from my favorite books as a teenager which I've made I've done that video before I'll link it below if you're interested because these books specifically had like an impact on me they touched my soul in some way um, and I think that's what reading books is about is that sometimes you find these books that relate so much to you and help you maybe get through things you know at different points in your life and these were books that had a big impact on me growing up so I wanted to share it with you guys so the first book series that I want to talk about that really impacted me as a teenager, as a teenage girl, um, I think I've mentioned before is the Princess Diaries series by Meg Cabot. Um, I have all the books still sitting on my bookshelf because I love those books and I couldn't see myself getting rid of them. Maybe if I donated them to someone who would equally love them, but I really love those books. Um, so if you've seen the movie, you might have a kind of a general idea of what it's about, but the Princess Diaries books follows this girl, Mia Thermopolis, she's 15 years old, um, she has a best friend, Lily, and um, she lives with her mom and her cat, Fat Louie, in a studio apartment in New York, and they, um, she finds out that she is a princess. She didn't know about her like lineage or anything like that until she's 15 and you know it tells you the beginning of the book um so she finds out that her dad is actually a prince and her grandmother is the queen of this place called genovia she doesn't know that much about it and so it's kind of like her journal her journaling her experience as a teenager one <laughs> being an uncool kind of teenager and then also finding out that she's a princess and having to deal with both of those you know realities for her and <clears throat> I loved it. I loved that book series as a teenager. Like it, it. Re I mean, I related to it because you know, here's this girl. She's 15 years old, and the way she describes it, she has, she's not necessarily the coolest person. She's kind of awkward looking. Unless she has like guys falling at her feet or anything like that. Um, and I guess just like the angsty part of her. If you read like uh, if you read the books, then you kind of get like her sarcastic humor and stuff like that. I related to very much. Um, and yeah, it was just interesting to see how she went from that awkward gawky teenager to getting boyfriends and becoming confident herself and being able to speak her mind and definitely as a teenager and I think still now I'm still struggling with trying to speak up for myself so I liked seeing that evolve um seeing her evolve as a character um yeah so that's one of the reasons that uh well those are some reasons for why it appealed to me so the movie that I mentioned that I caught this weekend is actually this book series I'm going to talk about right now, which is The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Um, I absolutely love the series. I forgot how much I loved it and how emotional I get about it. I mean, I did read the, la the latest book um, a couple months ago and it made me like cry and bawl my eyes out. Um, and then watching the movie this weekend kind of just brought those memories back and I just started like sobbing because I was so sad. I almost feel tearful just talking about it right now. Uh, the Sister of the Traveling Pants deals with four best friends. Um, you have B, Tibby, Lena, and Carmen. And they all are, they all share a September birthday. Um, and it takes place when they're 16, I think it is. It's like their sophomore year in high school. Um, it's the summer of their sophomore year in high school. And they, it's called the Sister of the Traveling Pants, specifically because they end up finding these pair of jeans that fit all of them, and they're all different body shapes. They weigh different weights. And this one pair of jeans that they find, every one of them can fit into it, and they all feel good, and it fits good as well. Um, so they decide to use these pants as a way to uh, connect 
over the summer while they're all doing their own separate things. You know, some are going away um, and some are staying there. So they decide, they make, they like make a list of things, of rules for the pants, and they agree to send it to each other during the summer so that they all have a chance to wear them. And um, yeah, so you get to see each character when they get the pants, when they don't have the pants, and you get to hear their story. And I just, I really, really love that. I think, I guess I'm just like a 90s kid in the sense that I love those like friendship stories. And um, I related a lot to the different, to all of them in different ways. Carmen was the Puerto Rican <laughs> um, character that was, you know, living with a single mom and into acting and kind of dramatic. And I related to her in the, you know, her being Hispanic and I didn't read a lot of, I don't think I really read any, maybe any characters while I was a teen that were actually Hispanic and then Puerto Rican because I'm half. So that was, I related to her. Then I related to Lena, who was the more quiet one of the group and a little bit more artistic and didn't really speak her mind. I related to B that was, you know, into sports because I really like to be active. I related to Tibby who was like the more sullen one, the sarcastic one. Um, so I related to all of them in different ways and it was just nice seeing all their stories and <sighs> so the books, um, there are four or five books, I think it is, five, there's five books in total. Four books when they're all younger, it takes place up until their, uh, I think freshman year of college and then the fifth book is ten years later. So when I started reading the series, I was around their age as well in the books. And then when the fifth book came out, I was, I'm was i actually the same age they are in the books, in the, in the fifth book. So it's nice to see where they are at the same age that I am in my life compared to where I was and where they were when they were younger. And it's just like, you know, you read certain books and it feels like you're part of it, like you're part of their family and, you know, when they're going through something, you're going through it too. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it's written by Anne Brashears, which I got to meet on um, for the Brooklyn Book Festival, and I told her how I was sobbing after I read that book, like I was so excited to meet her because like I'm, you know, all the books in this video are books that like made an impact on me as a teenager, and you know, being able to see the author that wrote that book series, or at least one of the book series that I'm talking about was like, a really big thing for me so I told her like I let her know like oh my god I loved your series and the fifth book made me like cry and things like that so it was really it was really really cool uh, you want to check the Brooklyn Book Festival out I'm gonna link the video I have two videos I think below um, if you want to check it out the third book I'm gonna talk about is Born Confused by Tanuja Desai here <clears throat> and I read this book when I was actually like an older teen but um, there's actually two books in the series the second book came out recently I still haven't bought it, it came out this year um, and I think also it takes place like now that she's older So I'm excited to read like where she's at in life um, Like in the sister of the traveling pants and you get to see what they're older. I, I just like that um, So this book deals with a girl named Dimple. She is an Indian American girl um, She has a best friend who's Caucasian blue-eyed Things like that and the thing with Dimple the way that um, I related to Dimple because she was again that awkward gawky teen kind of thing that you know she's a little bit chubby um she didn't feel like anyone really liked her any boys liked her um she had a best friend who was very good looking and got a lot of attention she had really conservative parents they were very they were very tra uh, traditional and she was very americanized and liked american things and you know didn't understand why she couldn't be like her friend and do american things because that's how she was you know she, she was used to that and her parents were like no so I related to her in that sense because growing up I definitely didn't have a lot of freedom because my parents were very strict with me and I, I sometimes would like resent it the fact that my friends could you know stay out late go to parties go out you know maybe not have a curfew and then I did so in that sense I related to her a lot because um you know <laughs> I felt like we were going through the same things and um yeah so it's just interesting when you're reading the book and you get to see the how her friend wants to be more involved in her culture and here that she is she wants to be more involved in the American culture and then she kind of gets a little bit jealous um, but yeah I think this is a really good book for any girl that maybe has parents that are uh, first-generation immigrants <laughs> first off they might relate a little bit to uh, her as a character because her parents are much more traditional compared to her you know growing up and feeling like an American teen but not being able to 
Okay, so the next book series that I read um, that I, that impacted me as a teen is the Sweet Valley High series by Pasquine, oh, Pasquine, <laughs> by Francine Pascal. Um, and I got introduced to the series by my mom, I think actually when I was like very early teens, like very early, like 11, 12, 13, I don't even know. Um, and there are so many, I think there's like 152 books in the series. I did not read 152 books, but I did read a lot of them and I did read it up until after I got out of high school. Um, it deals with identical twin girls, um, Jessica and Elizabeth Wakefield. Then they go to Sweet Valley High, which is what, that's why it's called Sweet Valley High. It's in California. And, um, it deals with them in high school, um, you know, being in clubs and being in school and boys and sister rivalries and things like that which I think every teen is you know that's what you're, <laughs> you're into when you're a teenager um and I liked it because it was like a really big difference they always highlight the differences between the two sisters that one is very extroverted and fashionable and likes a lot of attention and then the, that's Jessica the twin and then you have Elizabeth that on the other side she's like more quiet and reserved and likes to read and write and I related to, if you can tell, I related to Elizabeth a lot. Um, I felt that I was more, I related to her the most. Um, and I related to Jessica in some ways, but definitely I was probably more of like an Elizabeth kind of person. Um, because I was that quiet person that would read and they would write and I didn't like a lot of attention. I still don't. Um, so I related to her a lot and her sister reminded me a little bit more of my sister. It was very out there. Um, and I also read up into like uh, Sweet Valley University, which they go into university and I read like Elizabeth moves to like England and works as some like aristocratic person's house and I don't know, I just, I really like that book series. Okay, so the last, oh, I have my cat here. Come here, you wanna come here? Come here. Oh, I think I have Louie, my boy cat, so cute. He was crying outside my door. I don't know if you heard it in the last clip. You okay? So the last book series that I want to talk about is the Jessica Darling series by Megan McCafferty. Um, <laughs> he's so cute. This book series I think has four books in it, if I'm right, um, or five, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but anyways, it deals with this girl named Jessica Darling. Um, her best friend has just moved away. I think she's also 16 at the time. Um, and she has to, she's also, she's into track. And, um, yeah, so she's starting her, I don't know if it's her sophomore year, maybe, of, of, of high school. And she doesn't really have many friends because her best friend was the person that she would hang out with all the time. And she's not really interested in track anymore. And she just feels kind of, like, out of place. And she doesn't feel comfortable at home because her parents are obsessed with her older sister and don't really give her that much attention outside of, like, track stuff. And so she's kind of going through, like, an angsty period in her time when the book starts. And I related to that a lot because I was that angsty child that just didn't feel comfortable at home and just wanted to be out and just, I don't know, just that feeling of being, feeling out of place. I feel like everybody goes through that, especially when you're a teenager, you don't feel like you belong anywhere. Um, so I related to her in that sense. And in the book, she meets this guy, Marcus, which I totally had a Marcus of my own. <laughs> I definitely had a Marcus of my own. So it was interesting that, you know, I kind of like crossed, I, I read, I picked up the series right when I met, or a little bit after I met my Marcus, my type of Marcus. If you read the book series, you'll know who I'm talking about. And um, here's a fun fact, my Instagram name and stuff. I don't know if you guys follow me on Tumblr or Instagram. My name on there is Citrusy Burst. And yeah, the citrusy part, the citrus part comes from the guy that <laughs> I, I know, well, I knew, they're related to Marcus. But um, it's a really good book series. <clears throat> it's um, It also kind of like chronicalizes her from high school up until when she's older and you get to see her later on. You get to see her and Marcus later on. It's like, it's such a good series. Ooh, I have my cat on my lap. Lay down. All right, guys, so those are all the books that I am going to talk to you about. So cute. All right, guys, so those are all the books that um, I can think of off the top of my head that impacted me a lot as a teenager. Um, I gave you the reasons why. So let me know in the comment section if you want <laughs> um, about any books that impacted you as a teen. Or maybe you're a teenager right now and you're finding some books that actually are speaking to you 
and if you want to you can let me know why um yeah so hopefully you enjoyed it i will see you guys next week for a new video i finally have my filming space back i just have to clean my bookshelves which is the only reason why i have it taped um in front of it they are so dusty and dirty Ugh, insane anyways i'll see you guys next week with a new video check the links below and that's it bye Shit, boy. Shit, bye. <laughs>